Good morning. I'm your friend Scotty Ray, and it is Wednesday. We're at Hump Day. A little warmer as you're waking up uh, this morning. We started out at 72, and we'll get to high in the uh, upper 80s. We'll talk about that here in just a moment. A few things that uh, have been floating around Meridian. I I know that earlier this week it was reported that somebody, an active shooter, was at uh, one of the department stores in town. That was false. That never happened. Uh, I think somebody may have called the cops with something, but it was no one there. Uh, the second thing I saw floating around last night, and I think that was debunked, was that uh, bricks had been put around town. And I think where the picture was taken, it may have been they were replacing a sidewalk behind it. So hopefully all of that is uh, put to rest, and that's not true. Now, last night there was a small uh, demonstration on North Hill Street, and uh, that did take place yesterday afternoon. But uh, it was very peaceful no rioting, anything like that. It was just a handful of people. Uh, There's a bigger one, I think, planned for this coming Saturday at 1 p.m. at uh, the City Hall. That's going to take place. So uh, you might want to avoid the area, uh, let the the protesters do what they want, have their voice. Uh, It's being pushed as peaceful. Uh, That's coming up again. That's going to be on Saturday at uh, Meridian City Hall at 1 o'clock is when that's supposed to kick off in the downtown area. We'll watch that, let you know as more details come out about all of that uh, as it gets closer. But uh, the rest uh, are just merely rumors at this point. So put that stuff behind us. It's not true, and uh, it, uh, it'll be a better place for us, won't it? Well, as we turn to weather this morning, brought to you by EMEPA, your Touchstone Energy Cooperative, we go over to our radar this morning, and we are already starting to pick up showers. Uh, We move in closer to our area here, uh, just to the west of us in Newton County, we've got some light showers. Also, as we move up into Neshoba County, there's a few showers there. We turn our locations on. We'll uh, see that this is just west of house, around Union, getting some showers, and around East Central Community College. All light stuff. We have to go down toward the coast uh, before we start seeing uh, any heavier rain around Gulfport in those areas. As uh, we back out and take a look at all of that, we do have some rain that's uh, out here uh, in the Gulf. And uh, we'll get to this little monster here as we look at uh, what's going on with the possible uh, tropical storm that is headed our way. And uh, it, that is going to make its way uh, sometime Sunday, Monday to our area is what uh, the National Weather Service is telling us there. As you look at our timeline, it'll be out here sometime Sunday around 1 a.m. Now, this is in the Gulf and most likely will come up through New Orleans way. That's, uh, that's what's being predicted at this point. Uh, we'll watch that to see if that, that actually happens and adjust the changes as we look at uh, – what the National Weather Service is telling us here. And I, I'm, I haven't heard anybody pronounce this yet, so I'm going to call this Cristobal, and it'll move toward the, the U.S. on Sunday or Monday. That timeline there puts it uh, Monday at about 65 miles an hour through New Orleans, in which we would be getting rain out of that probably Sunday and Monday as well. So that's what's in our future. Uh, now, with all things, these things can change, and it uh, take a different path, Uh, It can move a little bit uh, more to the east, and we get more of it. Uh, Again, we'll watch that and just see uh, what happens, and I'll be on top of that for you to uh, to give you the very latest when it comes to uh, the tropical storm that is headed our way. We'll we'll be on that for you. Uh, As uh, we call for our forecast today, uh, let's see what we've got going on. There is a 60% chance of showers today, mostly in the afternoon. Otherwise, it'll be sunny, but this afternoon we'll get those showers with a high of 88 it was later, you know, yesterday there was a 50% chance of showers. They didn't move in until later. Kemper County got some of those, and Neshoba County did as well. The rain will continue in tonight, uh, 60% chance of rain ending by midnight, that low around 69. Another 60% chance of rain on Thursday, extending to a 50% chance on Friday, and then over the weekend, Saturday and Sunday, uh, 40% and a 50% on Sunday. So we've got rain in the uh, the forecast every day, and again, it's going to be this afternoon, but most likely uh, those rain chances and everything is going to change depending upon uh, what happens with that tropical storm. If it's upgraded to something larger, then a tropical storm, if it becomes a hurricane, it'll change the whole whole nine yards. Uh, but right now, still expected to be a tropical storm. Let's quick look at your forecast this morning uh, so far. As uh, we turn to news this morning of what's going on, just a, a tidbit of what's going on in and around the, the area and the nation, uh, the 18-year-old suspect that was uh, taken into custody was denied bond. Uh, Mr. Burks has been charged with capital murder. He will face a jury before long. 
Uh, and our next one, and you know, you hear about these things of kids all the time. You saw the one not long ago of a kid taking his, his mom's car for a joyride. This turned out bad. Uh, it was in Missouri, a six and seven year old, uh, brothers took their grandparents car for a ride and they wrecked and both were killed. Sad situation there. And, uh, something I, I would think the grandparents will never, ever get over. Watch those keys, whatever you do. Uh, this is a uh, more uh, uh, a northern uh, type company uh, and pizza. They're going to start offering their employees pay time off for activism. Uh, they posted that on their Twitter site there. That's different. That's the first time I've seen that offered to anybody. So n- not anything in the deep south, but definitely being offered in the north. Uh, as we look at this, uh, the North Carolina police Take a nil to protesters. About 60 officers nil for approximately 30 seconds on Monday afternoon in Fayetteville. As we move, do you remember this guy? He was talked a lot when uh, everything was still hot and heavy when we were dealing uh, with the coronavirus. The the Wuhan doctor that, after he started uh, being treated, turned, well, turned black. He has died. Um, Sad situation. Uh, Still don't know what caused all of that, but his skin turned dark. Uh, after coming critically ill with that. This is something new that's going to be coming, and I don't know how strong it will be, but News Nation is going to launch a new news network. WGN America is going to be doing this, and they're saying they're going to be right down the middle. They won't be on the right. They won't be on the left. They'll just tell the news. I think America will be watching to see how that actually turns out because uh, normally uh, each one of them do have an agenda. So we will, uh, we'll see how that goes. At Rick Justice Automotive, you'll find the right vehicle at just the right price. We have new inventory of late model, low mileage cars, trucks, and SUVs arriving every week. Come see us today, and you'll see how we've been able to help your family and friends find the perfect vehicle. Financing and a 57-month, 57,000-mile warranty are available on every vehicle. For an awesome car buying experience, come to Rick Justice Automotive. We take pride in earning your business every day. One thing that is certain in uncertain times, EMEPA's commitment to you. Visit EMEPA.com or call 601-581-8600 to stay in touch. Stay healthy, stay home, and we'll get through this together the cooperative way. And the place you need to head to when you're needing groceries would be the Piggly Wiggly of Collins. Well, they've got a little bit of everything. One of the nicest places you'll ever get to shop. Very clean. Some of the specials that's going on with Joe and the gang this week, you can drop in and get the Red Baron pizzas, two for $6. That's the pepperoni topping only. I was in there, uh, I believe, yesterday. Boy, they had it really going on, getting stocked up and ready for this week. As we look, if you're needing some Sunny Delight Punch, the 128-ounce bottle, two for $5. Also, you can uh, pick up those uh, 10-count Eggo waffles. Two for five dollars. Some deals there. Also, if you're looking for Coca-Cola products, you can get the 12 pack, 12 ounce cans, two for nine dollars. Also, uh, you can if you're into the strawberry. Angie's big into strawberries. I've never been that strawberry type guy, but uh, Angie, my wife's into that, and you can get those now for two ninety nine a pound. If you're wanting some fresh strawberries. They are there at the pig. Drop in and see Joe, and uh, they'll do that for you and show you more about that. And, of course, always at the pig, you can drop in and take advantage of a great meal. If you're needing uh, a to-go, they'll have some great food. If you're needing lunch, you can get those starting as low as three ninety nine for a plate lunch. All there at the Piggly Wiggly of Collinsville. Drop in and see Joe and everybody there. They're, uh, they'll be glad to help you out there and get you something that you need and get your groceries to your car. Again, that is the Piggly Wiggly of Collinsville. Well, as uh, we go back and let's, what has gone on with COVID-19? It, does it seem that it's just disappeared? No one in the news is talking about it. No matter what we watch for months on end was if you stepped out your door, cracked it, you were going to be arrested. Uh, if you didn't do right, didn't follow the rules. Now that's out the window. Everybody get together and uh, they say nothing. But it's still bad here in the state of Mississippi as we turn to uh, take a look at what the numbers were yesterday. 268 cases, new cases, along with 28 deaths and 127 long-term care facilities. And I read where the Mississippi Department uh, of Health is going to start releasing the names of those care facilities so you'll know where they were. They won't tell how many deaths were at each place, but they will start releasing the names of it. Uh, of the 28 deaths yesterday, Lauderdale County had three. Neshoba County had one. Wayne County had one. Uh, that's the closest we had to us. Jones County had three also. That's a pretty high number. 
Uh, we're not over this yet. We're still watching this as it uh, comes along there. Oh, boy. It, uh, that's a lot of people. Again, as we go back to take a quick look at that weather, again, today we have a 60% chance of showers, and it's going to be late in the afternoon after 1 o'clock. Uh, we will have a 60% chance of rain tonight as well, and extending all through the weekend. Uh, Friday comes in with a 50%, and we'll watch Saturday and Sunday to watch to see how the tropical storm plays into all of this. Again, this morning, light shower showing up west of us there. Newton County starting to show a little bit there in the southwestern uh, corner of Clark County, uh, Lauderdale County in this area here, and Chunky getting wet there. So. That's a, a quick look at your forecast this morning there. Uh, again, the highs today is going to be in the, the mid to upper 80s is where we'll be. So I want to take a minute and thank our sponsors that make this happen every day. A big thank you to them. Of course, Patrick Allen, Overhead Doors, along with Piggly Wiggly of Collinsville, Rick Justice Automotive there on North Frontage Road, Hoopers on 22nd Avenue, EMEPA, along with Graphics Guru, on B Street, SMI Automotive, and San Marcos Mexican Restaurant. Always there to get you a great meal there. Again, thank you for spending part of your day with Scotty Ray's Weather. If you would, like and share with a friend. There will be a time when weather breaks out. I want everybody to know where it is and how to find it. We'll track it street by street to make sure that you're safe. That's all happening here with Scotty Ray's Weather. Again, thank you.